I just want to start off by saying it is a thrill to meet you. I am been so excited when I found out I was talking to you. I was I was just screaming. I I'm literally just was. a mere mortal. Uh, yeah, I know, but <laughs> I'm just really, really excited to meet you. You know, you're talking about movies like James and the Giant Peach, Matilda, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Of course, I don't have to tell you, BFG. What was it like to hear stories from your dad before the world knew them? Well, at the time... It it was just bedtime stories. And at the time, it was sort of mildly annoying because all of our friends um, got to read books and their parents would sit down on the bed and read them stories and things like that, whereas we got told them. And then at birthday parties, we, our friends, would, you know, show up with Barbie and, and Kaplunk and Action Man and things like that. And we would always have to give one of Dad's books signed. And he wasn't very well known when I was a child, so... It was, it was like, Dad, do we really have to give a book? Can we just please go down to the village and get a toy? And he would say, no, it's a jolly good book. Children should read, and this is a good story. And so we would always show up with a book wrapped up and give it. And But now it's cool, because now via Facebook and things like that, my friends from when I was a child have found me again, and they said, I treasure this book that was signed to me when I was seven years old or something like that. So, Do you remember the early versions of BFG? as a child? It, well, it was told to me, it was, and my sister was a bedtime story, so it was a little bit different, but the same. It was, um, BFG lived under the apple tree of our orchard. He was, he was our BFG, so when, it, when Dad did put BFG into a book and he lived in giant land, I was a little offended. Um, felt like he'd lied. <laughs> 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 but um, the film, Really, when I went to the set of the film, it was honestly like walking into my imagination when I was a child. And then seeing the film, when I, was, when I saw it, thank goodness I saw it by myself and not with other people because I cried and I cried and I cried because I felt like I'd spent two hours with my dad because BFG is very much in person who my dad was as a dad and as a person, the same sensibility, the same sense of humor. I mean, he could speak, but dad used to say funny words like that too. He didn't always speak in English. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. We had sort of had our own language at home. Oh my gosh. That you had to just sort of, if you were coming in and visiting, you had to figure it out. <laughs> did, did he, did you ever, uh, did he test any stories on, on you all as kids? Absolutely. And did you ever convince him to change anything? He, I didn't, he didn't tell us he was testing. He would, I've since found out through interviews that he did that I've seen, um, he would tell us a story. And then if we just said, okay, thanks, good night, um, he would think, well, that's not a very good one. I better think of a better, a different idea. But if we would say, no, 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 go on, go on, go on, he would think I'm onto something. So we did get that litmus test a little bit, yeah. Steven Spielberg, of course, Big name, and yep. you find out he's directing this film. What was your first thought? <sighs> first thought? Yes. Fantastic, amazing, how incredible, wonderful. Then I found out that Melissa Matheson had written the script. Well, I didn't find out. I knew, I knew that the team from E.T. had come back together again for the first time. So Melissa Matheson, who sadly passed away just after filming, who wrote the incredible screenplay, Kathy Kennedy, Frank Marshall, the producers, and Stephen. They, that's the collaboration from E.T. So as that is one of the most extraordinary films, um, I think, ever made, uh, BFG is really up there with it. It's slower than films that are out now that are sort of always bang, bang, pop, pop, everything else. But I think it's a beautiful film because it gives you a moment to really think, which children don't really have these days, and to feel. 